Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I like this definition of the four different kinds of miracles. Yes. Mm -hmm. A sign, an evidence of a divine commission, <laughs> an attestation of a divine message. Yeah. <laughs> a token of the presence and working of God, the seal of a higher power. Yes. Then there's the teratata, mm. wonders, huh? wonder-causing events, portents, producing astonishment in the beholder, oh, Acts 2, 19. Yeah. Dunamaeus, yes, might works, mm. works of superhuman power, uh -huh. of a new and higher power, Uch in the erga, mm. works, <laughs> the works of him who is wonderful in working, yes, mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people would say, well, my salvation causes me to have to do something for God as a justification for the salvation I receive. Yes. But I really am of the mindset that if I'm going to do anything for God, yes, it's going to be God that, uh, that motivates me to do it. And quite possibly if I'm doing it, yes, and it's God that's, that's wanting me to do it, yeah. I'm not even aware that I'm doing it for God. <laughs> now, there's this idea of what am I conscious of and what am I not conscious of. Yes. I would say that uh, the knowledge of God would cause me to want to do certain things. Yes. That may or may not be involved in my conscious thought of what I'm doing. Yes. Even though I'm accomplishing something. Yes. See, I think that God never tells me anything to do because for some reason I end up doing things and I don't even realize it was God that was wanting me to do it. <laughs> it's kind of like, oh, if I don't know that I'm doing something for God and God does know that I'm doing it, yes, then God uh -huh, is aware of the works that I'm doing. Poop. Now, uh, in John 5, 20, mm -hmm. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doeth, uh -huh. and he will show him uh, greater works than these, that ye may marvel. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, it's nice that uh, the Father of Jesus does love his Son. Yeah. And he did show him all things that he, that himself was doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and he will show uh, Jesus greater works than these, uh -huh, that ye, myself, might marvel. Yes. Um, because it was them that was witnessing the actual works that Jesus was doing. Yes. But they themselves, um, they were just marveling at the, at the work that was being done. <laughs> now I know I'm adopted. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I have a uh, very little idea what the father of Jesus is actually doing. Yeah. In fact, I don't even know what Jesus is doing. No. <laughs> and I, I think that my whole job as, as being, um, saved. Yes. And going to heaven. Yep. Yeah is to just kind of let God do whatever God's going to do because God doesn't tell me what God is doing. Yes. And if I have the experience of something that is difficult for me to explain, yes, well, I should just marvel in it. Isn't that a miracle? <laughs> now, a lot of pastors, yes, God's always telling them to do something. and <laughs> They're always giving words to those in the congregation. They're praying on you, telling you, well, the Lord's really going to bless you this week. Bounce! But I think that there's a lot of fake Christianity going on, a lot of charity fraud. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Where the word that you're giving somebody is not really the word of the Lord. Yes. But you're affecting the lives of those in your congregation because you just can't admit that it's it's not God that's doing it. Yes. Mm. Why don't you get me the charities? Mm -hmm. You know, when I have the actual abundant evidence of fraud, yes, charity fraud, yes, and no one wants to enforce my rights. There must be a second cause to the first cause of the fraud. Now, yesterday I did a little research. There's what's known as RICO laws. I told you that uh, when you decided to use the muscle, it became organized crime. Ouch! Now, for a lot of those in law enforcement that said, well, we don't go underneath. Yes, there is no law uh -huh, underneath any of the actual offices of the government. Yes, there's no loggers beating the shit out of people or there's no giants making women have sex with them because they can touch their nose and electrocute them if they don't poop. But the muscle becomes the organized crime element that can get you convicted and imprisoned for a very long time. 
Now, let's say the sheriff decided to ignore the evidence, the abundant evidence that I wasn't in Squim, right? The abundant evidence of the forgery of my wife's twin sister that she didn't tell me about when we were married. Oh! Then there's the evidence of the forgery of the ex-official Superior Court clerk. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's the uh, gross, mm -hmm. negligent mm -hmm. miscarriage of justice of each of the court hearings. Yes. Because the second cause says, well, we're going to go the corporate way. And those in the corporation have to have a vagina to put their sperm in. Poop! Now, we're going to use technology so that those that are citizens don't realize exactly what's going on. Yes. But their first cause, yes, was to give birth to their genetics, yes, that happened to be dogs, yes, so that they could have control of the lives of the citizens. Oh. <laughs> now, when it, when it involves the use of muscle right now, mm -hmm, I would think that these RICO laws that make it a crime, yes, to threaten any citizen because of a private citizen saying, well, what we're doing is top secret, yes. I would want to have imprisoned all of those that said uh, these signs and wonders that you have to see. Yeah. You know, counterfeiting Christianity is charity fraud. Oh. Why don't you get me the tax deductible receipts of each and every charity of Clallam County? Yes. I noticed there's a lot of Masonic lodges. Yes, there it is. <laughs> I kind of wanted them for myself. And considering the grand poopahs of the Masonics, yes, he does. I'm just going to want to know, is there any coughing up of the money in a separate economy? Yes. Well, the Masons thought they'd bring in some, some muscle. Yes. No, you're going to pay today. Is that right? You're going to pay today. <laughs> now, <laughs> the thought of organized crime controlling the actual government of the United States of America? Yes. I would think that the Army would, would really dislike it. I mean... <laughs> It could be that we don't know every underground location where you're keeping your lookalike, your dog, or your muscle poop. Is there any such thing as cloning technology? I mean, does it exist or it's a miracle? Yes. It's a miracle that somebody looks just exactly like me. Oh, there's no mechanisms or machinery involved in the making of anything that looks like another citizen that was not birthed out of the same womb at the same moment. Ouch! You know, I'm kind of thinking that there could be some organized crime. Crime! Crime!